Yesterday was a pretty bad day for me in a lot of different ways. So I didn't vlog. Well, I actually vlogged and then erased it all because it was pointless. I talked a lot about morning anxiety and what causes it. There are no answers. Adrenal fatigue, what to do about that. There are no answers. I had a very emotional day. Um, personal things going on with my family, but thank God they resolved themselves finally. God's intervention last night. Um, so one last thing. I slept pretty good for me last night and my anxiety, my morning anxiety was not horrendous this morning but um, I got oh, around 3 o'clock yesterday afternoon, my head became so woozy and dizzy and off balance, the whole you know, the whole thing, and it lasted right up until nighttime. it just wouldn't let up and it came on me kind of suddenly, I mean, it wasn't like a snap sudden, but it just, I'd been on talking on the phone with my girlfriend, and I, I just was like, oh God, oh God, my head, my head, my head, and before long, I was like, I gotta get off the phone. She goes, I could tell by your voice that you're not feeling good, and I said, my head is just getting really woozy, really bad, really dizzy. Now, the weather's changing rapidly, that could have been it. That's, she mentioned that. She said, you know, the, the barometric pressure has been just going down and the, the temperature, I mean, it was 62, 63. It's in the 30s. And yes, we're supposed to get hit with a storm starting tonight right into Saturday, six to 10 inches. Ooh, something to look forward to. I woke up with a headache right here. One of those headaches, you know, still hurting. I'll take some Motrin later if it doesn't let up. I was able to walk out for three miles yesterday and the day before, but I think I'll just go into the infrared sauna today and see what happens. I increased my vitamin B to two out of the six you're supposed to take. I'm up to two now. So I'm right there with you, Jen. I have body aches more recently like knees my feet always hurt the joints my toes besides the neuropathy the tingly numb buzzing feeling in my feet um my, my toe joints hurt legs hurt my lower back I, you know just the achy feeling of course my shoulder well, if you can hear that, but it's Rice Krispies in there. And the lymph nodes are still down. So maybe something will start turning around for me. Talking with my older daughter last night, that was the problem. I had a situation. It was 80% my prop, my fault and 20% hers, but I realized the way I react to things now is so, for lack of a better term, immature. And I said to her, I go, you know, I, I don't think my thinking is correct. I had just talked to my husband prior to us talking 
And I had said that to him. I said, I don't, I don't think I process information correctly. I don't, I don't react to things correctly. This illness has damaged my brain. That I don't, I don't think right. And I feel like I'm trapped until somebody like points it out to me and says, you know, mom, you did or said this, how was I supposed to react? And it was like, it's scary. It's very scary to think that something has climbed up or swam up or slithered up into your brain and it's chewing your brain away. So that's my morning. I want to give you a catch up. The morning anxiety has never made sense to me. I wake up with it every single morning of my life for the last four years, especially the last three years, every single morning without, without fail. Never, never do I wake up. And as I try to explain it, it's not like you are waking up from a bad dream or something's happened. It's your body. Your body is in this fight or flight mode out of nowhere from sleep. And then you struggle with that. <clears throat> so, another day. I believe the Lord is trying to speak to me in a very small, still voice. I hope it's not my imagination. But I felt like he spoke to me like yesterday when I was crying and oh I cried so much yesterday I can't even I lost count how many times I cried oh my gosh I cried 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 you know begging for God to take me home since you're not gonna fix me you your answer to my my prayer is no then just take me home take me home you don't answer my prayer and I felt this voice inside my head saying, but yet I have done things. I have done, I've answered your prayers. I got your, th your husband through a life-threatening disease. I got your daughter well and your other daughter. And I've done, I, I've been there so many times. Now today, not crying, not carrying on, but as I'm listening to the teaching that I listen, you know, I listen to this preacher, teacher every single day. I'm listening to him. And what I kept feeling in my, my being or in, in my head was stop begging for death. You want me to do a work in your life. You want me to do a work in your health. Stop begging for death because I, I beg for death daily no kidding I'm not I'm, I'm not even exaggerating daily I beg God to take me several times a day so I'm going to try to shut my mouth I'm going to attempt we'll see how long it lasts to not say those words Do not beg God for death. We'll see where that takes me. Okay. So I will pop in with you later. There's a lot more that's happened in the last couple of days, but I just, I can't play catch up. All I can tell you is yesterday was... A really really rough day emotionally I was not well so we'll talk again later God willing hello not much has happened since the last time I was on here I talked to 
my sister for quite a while on the phone. We caught our therapy session because we grew up in such a, a horrific, dysfunctional home. Yeah, they, oh, God, I'm wobbly. Mm. Um. Mm. Okay, I'm going to sit back down because, whoa. I'm not light on my feet today again. <sighs> Why? Why is it happening? Can you see? Look at that. I'll share that with the world. Yep. Time to color the hair. Anyway, um, we had a long talk. So I didn't get a chance to go on the treadmill or walk. I'm definitely not going to walk outside. It's too cold. But just as I found out as I'm trying to walk around, I'm too wobbly to walk anyway. My head doesn't hurt as much. It just feels a lot of pressure. I feel like I have a lot of pressure. And um, feel wired feeling in my stomach. Gotta love that. Gotta love the wired feeling. Sorry. Ugh. Burping a lot. Um. So that's it. Nothing else to report. Trying to think. Oh, Sunday I go back on the olive leaf and the oregano oil. So, other than that, the LDN, I don't, I, don't, I have got to get a hold of my nurse practitioner and find out next Thursday is when I need to increase the LDN, and I don't know how much she's going to want to increase it. We'll have to to get a hold of her in the beginning of next week because she'll have to call in the at the compounding pharmacy and have it made. By the way, as you see, I did my nails and no, I won't. I won't let you look close because I do a hor my nail beds are horrible. I don't do a good manicure. But after I painted them, I realized should I be wearing nail polish? Is that gonna affect me? I mean, everything else affects me. You know, should is nail polish not good for you? Can it sink in through my nail beds and cause me more problems? I'm sure most of you naturalists will say, oh, nail polish isn't good. Keep your nails clear. Yeah, I'll take it off in a couple days. Can't hurt me that bad, right? Nail polish. Hair dye. I got it. I got to do this because Mr. Skunk is coming out. Hmm. So... That's my day. I have nothing to do, nowhere to go, nobody to see, just me, the dogs, in the house. Check in with you when I get it. I am going to go in the infrared sauna, though. I am going to do that, so I'll check in with you when I do that. Okay, done with the sauna and rinsed off. Been on the phone most of the day. <clears throat> Talked to my sister, I think I mentioned that earlier, for several hours. And I was just on the phone with my good friend for another hour or more. That's how I spend my time talking to people on the phone because if my head will allow it, it gives me something to do. But I'm going to try something for my mom. She was always a big crocheter and knitter. And up until she got sick, right up until about maybe five years ago, she was, when she lived down in Massachusetts, I'm sorry. 
trying to go find the, that's what I'm looking for. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, she, where the, oh, that's what I'm looking for. Okay. Okay. So I'm looking for the yarn and thing that I just started. Anyways, what was I saying? Oh, right before she got sick, which probably was about five years ago, she was with this group called um, the Doll Makers. And a bunch of older women would get together once a week, I think it was. And um, now I don't know where the heck the, need the crochet cooks are. I'm sure this is making you look a dizzy. Um, and they crochet these little dolls. Well, what do I do with the crochet hooks? For third world countries. So what I figured I'm going to do, because I've asked her if she wanted to crochet several different times, and she's turned me down, said, no, not interested, don't want to do it. I don't know if it's because she doesn't remember how to or what, but I'm just going to bring this over. It's already started. If I could find the freaking crochet hooks we had. Ah, there they, there they be. Um... And just leave it out on her table. Maybe she'll pick it up and fiddle-faddle with it. Using a plastic, rather large. This is a an 8 millimeter, And I'm using very large yarn. So we'll see. Also, something about my mom is she's done so many things in her life. For being such a miserable little thing, she did have a very full life for somebody who was single- Almost my entire life, my husband, my husband, my father deserted her when I was very young and she never remarried. Who would marry her? Uh, anyways, um, amongst the many things that she's done in her life, she was taught sign language and she was an interpreter for the deaf, deaf at our church. We had a deaf person, but she liked it and she loved it to um, sign language music. So that's something else I'm going to try to ask her about. Hey, mom, how do you say I want to pee in sign language? And just see if she remembers any of that. But I think that this would be interesting to see if she picks it up and starts messing with it. You know, something give her something to do. We'll see. See, I'm trying to be kind-hearted. I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, and I'm going to share it here. <sighs> With all the drama that has gone in on in my personal life in the last 48 hours, um, something that I'm going to diligently try to do. We'll see how long it lasts. I'm not going to walk around begging to die. I'm not going to be screaming to, to God to kill me. I'm going to keep, I probably cannot stop the thoughts, but I'm not going to let them leave my mouth. It's like toothpaste. Once it comes out, it doesn't go back in. And Satan cannot hear your thoughts. Only God. God's omnipresent, omnipotent. God can hear every thought you have. Satan can't. He watches you. His little minions watch what you do and what you say. And so, although I've known this forever and ever, ever, this is not an epiphany. Please, I've known this. But this morning, after reviewing other things that came about because of me not shutting my mouth, I decided that's an, another thing, and I, I didn't make a promise to God. I just said, you know, Lord, I'm, I'm going to do my best not to speak those words. 
because I'm sure that Satan is doing the Jigga Jagga dance all over whenever I talk like that and, and whistling a tune. He's so happy. So, Satan, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus and you can go to hell. And please stay there because that's where you belong. So that's what I'm going to try to do is not sit here and say, I want to die, I want to die, I want to die. Please, God, let me die. No. I'm going to say nothing. That's what I need to do is just not say anything. So let's see. Update for today. I'm praying for you, Jen. If you're watching this, Please, please, I know your people and your doctor and whoever, the doctor's wife, or said, oh, these things can go on forever. I'm going to speak as a nurse. They don't need to. And let me tell you something. The infection can actually get worse. And Google it. That infection gets bad enough, I'm not going to, just Google it. Please, please. Go see a doctor and get on an antibiotic. Seven days, within 24 hours, you'll feel better. Because it sounds bacterial to me. It doesn't sound viral to me. Um, I'm not a doctor. But I'm just watching you try all these other things to no avail. I mean, it would be one thing if you were getting some symptom relief, but it doesn't, maybe I'm wrong, but watching your vlog, it doesn't seem. So I'm not going to spend my whole vlog talking to her, but just a mention there. Um, so update on me, because I feel blessed I'm not sick with that or anything like that. My head's baseline, off balance, woozy doozy. Not bad like yesterday afternoon. Yesterday afternoon got really bad. Pray it doesn't happen again. Um, I have that wired feeling. But I've had a lot going on in the last couple of days. And being on the phone wires me. But other than that, oh, and I got some, I got head pressure. Because when I shake my head, I can feel the pain. So I definitely got some sinus pressure, but it's not a headache. Um, so that's that. I'm going to do something with this. I'm going to go online because my grand, my oldest grandson, it's his turn up to bat this weekend with me, Lincoln. And, um, He's six years old. He'll be seven in July. Um, so I got to go on Pinterest and I find the greatest art projects to do on Pinterest. Love Pinterest, by the way. Love it, love it for that. I don't do it for anything else. I do it for art projects with my grandkids. So I got to find something brand new to do with him when he comes over because that's what they look forward to doing, or at least he does. And I thank God that I'm able to do it. I have to be thankful and grateful for whatever I can do. So if I'm out of bed and I'm able to, even if I have to pretend, spend time with him, make memories, and cherish the moments without him being, realizing how dizzy and horrible I might be feeling, I just have to try my best. So today I'm, I'm just trying to be positive. I really am. Because the negativity that I have been feeling forever has just made me um, start to harm the most precious relationships I have. And that's not okay. It's not okay for me to um, lash out at those who I love because I'm in so much pain. I, If I have to hurt, everybody else has to hurt. <sighs> I'm looking at myself. I'm like, what do I do? Do I cut this? Somebody give me a, what do you, th don't, don't worry. You're not going to hurt my feelings. 
you know, my husband doesn't want me to cut it. My daughter, I haven't asked all my kids. My younger daughter said, it looks pretty, but if it's annoying to you, cut it. And I said, well, it's not annoying to me. I just, I feel like maybe I'm too old to wear it long. And she goes, oh my God, no, you're not too old at all, mom. She goes, but it looks pretty. Okay, so there's two votes to keep it longer. And then my friend Sharon said, yeah, I'd cut it. I'd cut it some. Like she'd like it to hear. I can't wear really short hair. I wish I would love. Oh my God. If I could wear my hair like Lisa Rinna or just a pixie cut, I would have a pixie cut in a second. In a heartbeat, I'd wear a pixie cut. I love pixie cuts. I think they're so cute on people. But I have a big body and a very small head. That's why I wear my hair big because my head is this big. It doesn't look like the, well, it's this big. Here, it's this big. It's this big. Um, so I've had my hair very, very short way back and I looked ridiculous. So what do you think? I mean, if you look back, you can see what my hair was like, you know, when did I start vlogging? I don't know. Go back and my hair was clearly shorter when I first started vlogging and let me know what you think. Because I'm trying to decide whether to cut it or not, especially since it's time to color. And I will say when it's shorter, it's easier, easier to color. When the longer it gets, the more I feel like I need help because I don't feel like I get the color all the way. Like, see, you can see, I don't, I don't really get it saturated throughout. Um, so I may have my daughter, one of my daughters help me color it this weekend. Because although this doesn't look really long, but when it's wet, because it's curled up, you know, it keeps curling up on me. And this is natural. I don't do anything to my hair. Literally, I dry my hair like this. I don't use a brush. I don't do anything. I just dry it. I don't style it. I don't do anything to it. And then it's humidity or whatever. It would just curl up on its own. It does all this on its own. Um, so when it's wet, it's... much longer this is the longest I've had my hair and I can't remember how long I've, I haven't had my hair this long in a long time I usually have it up to about like this okay enough about my hair enough about me enough about all that um so not a horrible day I mean I'm not a good day I, I'm waiting for that good day honestly I'm really waiting for that good day but um not a horrible day so be thankful for what I have, right? Okay. Um, if I do go over to my mom's, which another medication got delivered here today, so I probably need to go over there and put it in the lockbox for the nurse, I will bring you along with me. Okay? Bye-bye. <clears throat> I'm on my way to my mom's. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, bring in the crochet, the yarn and the crochet hook with me and see if I can, well, maybe even try to videotape it if I can get her to do any of it. We'll see. It'd be interesting if she can't remember how to do it. Something she's done her whole life, like brushing her teeth. I will click back once I get there, which will be only in your timeline, a blink, and in my time timeline, a couple minutes. Okay. Hold on, I gotta get around the corner before I can let go of the wheel to turn this off. I'm just leaving now. It was actually a good visit. She was in a good mood. We tried to do the crocheting together and 
she was having quite a bit of difficulty. She, she remembers it's her hands aren't working correctly for her. So I left it there and for her to fiddle and faddle with it later when she's feeling up to it. Um, so I'm on my way home now. Well, again, like I said, when I was here Tuesday, she was miserable and now she was in a good mood and, you know, pleasant to be around, so. Hi, Hello. How are you? Good, how are you? Look, I try to have Tom and Joe try to show her how to play bingo. She's, she's, I'm, I told her to go tomorrow, I, yes. you know, so I've got a yes. note for her, so. Yeah. Maybe if somebody knocks on her door and reminds her, Donna, okay. it's bingo. Okay. Thank you. The ladies in this building, they have more of life than any of us. Even their bingo times are more fun than what we have. We have no fun. The storm is hitting. Let me see if it's even started on the news. Oh, it hasn't started quite yet, but that's all that's on our news right now is this storm. I guess it's going to be pretty bad. I wonder if they're going to shut down the, the schools ahead of time because uh, that's all that's on the news constantly. The storm, the storm, the storm. Nope, nothing's happened yet. Nothing's going on yet. Not yet it hasn't. But it will be. Yep. So, that's that. I guess I should sign off now. I really, well, I'm not even going to my own car. I don't even know whose car I'm going to. Um, yeah, I want to get home because I'm supposed to FaceTime with my grandbabies. Whoa, okay. Just had the move, the earth move under my feet. I feel the sky tumbling down, a tumbling down. Mm hmm. Yes. Elevator and walking. Not good for our brains. So, I guess I will sign off here. In comparison to most days, it's been an okay day. I mean, again, not good, but not horrible. So, you never know. Um, Lord willing, we'll be back at it again sooner or later. And uh, God bless. Love you. Praying for all of you. And... Praying that we get a good, peaceful night's sleep. Bye-bye.